All right, so I'm out here at the Dakota County Gun Club at the 300-yard line this afternoon, uh, and it is uh, a whopping, uh, well, this says it's 10 degrees over here now, but that's because the sun's uh, on it. Uh, it's probably really about 7 degrees, and this is the perfect day to be out here because the match I'm shooting this uh, Sunday, the weather, uh, according to the weathermen here, is supposed to have just mimicked what we did today. So by this time in the early afternoon, this is the, the temperatures we'll be shooting in. Uh, uh, so I'm going to validate the uh, 105 grain Burger VLD uh, six arc loads that I came up with uh, here that I previously shot a, a week ago at 100 yards and then went and validated it or, or tested it at 800 yards. And uh, I loaded up some more of it and I'm going to check group sizes at 300 yards uh, with that same 27.7 grains of IMR 4895. Uh, these are Starline brass that have been fired about four times now. Uh, and I'm using a CCI 450 uh, small magnum rifle primer. So uh, the Kestrel, after I put the... Uh, 2698 average uh, from these loads last week into it and played with the Kestrel a little bit. Tells me I need about 1.1 mils from back here. Uh, we'll see. 300 is pretty flat at this point still. So, uh, But we're going to see how it does, what kind of data I capture on the chronograph, and I'm going to shoot uh, four or five round groups. I got two uh, mags of 10 loaded up and that will leave me 80 rounds for the match on Sunday that has been now scaled back to a six round match because of the cold temperatures. So anyway, let's give her a rip. <sighs> Trying to film and capture the Kestrel and the chronograph at the same time. I don't know how well it's gonna work and I hope the muzzle brake doesn't knock anything over over there, but we'll give it a rip. All right, so I will shoot the uh, top target left-hand side first. First shot of the day. And no, I won't. I don't have any hearing protection then. All right, first shot. Now, uh, hopefully the camera is still running and they don't shut down here while I'm doing this because uh, it's cold and they've been sitting out while I've been setting up for a little bit. But uh, if you notice that first round dropped probably, I don't know, uh, these are half inch squares on this target. Uh, it dropped considerably. Uh, that was the cold bore shift on this and in this dense cold air, uh, that's what I would expect. Ugh. All right, so that is a 26.72 average for the first five. We'll go to the target right below it.
All right, so that's uh, 2678 for a 10 shot muzzle velocity. We'll go to the upper right hand target now. There should be five. All right, and then the last target down below that. And my trigger finger is getting cold now. That should be 20 shots for an average of 2684. So that's about 10 feet per second slower than what I got down at Red Wing uh, six or seven days ago here. So uh, it is colder today than it was then. Uh, I know uh, the Kestrel's telling me it's, well, it said 13 a second ago. Now it says it's. Uh, 10 8 you know what it's dropping off because it was heating up because of the muzzle uh, uh, blast uh, it was heating up the air around the kestrel that's why it, it, it said it was up to like 13 degrees uh, yeah down to 8 now but anyway uh, we'll measure up the groups just looking through it here it looks like they're probably all still sub minute of angle at 300 yards and that's all i care about because there's nothing that we're shooting at this match that's probably going to be smaller than two moa uh, out at any distance so uh if you found this enjoyable make comments down below uh, i like sharing uh the center fire stuff as well not just the rim fire content and the vintage content uh if people like it uh, again chime in let me know uh, i'd be happy to share more of this uh, if the temperatures aren't too horrible i may do a match video uh from this sunday and if people want to see that i can uh, put together something i'll bring the drones with me and uh and i'll try to put something nice together for that but as always you all have a great day and we will see you at the range all right, so here's the target I just shot uh, here from 300 yards. And it's the same target if you saw my video last week, but this grid pattern on here is a uh, half inch square grid pattern. So just by taking that into account, if you go diagonally, that's one inch, that's two inches to there. This would be three inches up here. So uh, this is sub minute angle, uh, you know, still at 300 yards. That's a under three inch group as well at 300. That's probably the best looking group uh, as far as the tightest one, that's probably, you know, a two inch group, uh, maybe even less. And then that one's, you know, somewhere in that two and a half inch area as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, that's all I care about. As long as it's shooting under a minute of angle uh, at, you know, 100 yards, and then it carries that under a minute of angle out to 1,200 yards, that's all I care about. So there it is.